Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and this evening we'll have a look at the latest GFS, G, uh, GFS ensembles and then we'll have a look at pre precipitation charts, live radar and weather warnings as we do have some very heavy rain heading up from the south accompanied by the potential for some thunderstorms tonight into tomorrow. Do remember if you enjoyed my videos make sure you do like and subscribe and do remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link is in the description. So I'll we'll briefly run through the sort of longer term outlook through the GFS and its ensembles. So you can see over the next few days it's going to be this low pressure to our south that's really going to be in control of the weather for many parts of England and Wales. It's going to be pushing up bands of rain, especially towards the south coast. We've got weather, weather warnings for rain today uh, and this evening. And then we've got thunderstorm warnings for tomorrow across the south coast as well. Further northwards, though, with quite warm upper air temperatures, we could be seeing 23, 24, and maybe even 25 degrees in maybe Glasgow and Scotland. And um, certainly many areas of northern England will probably stay relatively dry. There is the potential for some showers to push northwards from this low. Um, but again, yeah, it's really, uh, we'll have a look at the precipitation charts, see how far north those do push. But into the longer term, that low eventually does sort of fill out and move out to the Atlantic. Oh, sorry, out into Europe, and then another low comes in off the Atlantic, trying to push in by this weekend. Again, it's quite a weak system, so I'm not expecting a massive deluge with it, but there's potential for some more showery outbreaks of rain, um, and we'll have to keep an eye on how that develops this weekend. We'll look at precipitation charts in a minute. Beyond that, another low pressure tries to push in, but high pressure blocks it out. We do st start to see some quite hot air move up from the south, especially into the southeast, potentially getting up to 12 to 15 degrees, 850 HPA, so quite warm there. Um, but beyond that, it does look like low pressure is going to push through. So we have to keep an eye on what happens there. We do see a brief push of quite warm air, and then towards the end of the run, again, just staying fairly westy, but with high pressure more involved. So we just have to see, keep an eye on what happens in towards sort of day 10 and beyond, because it's looking like there's the potential we could see some sort of heat wave conditions with that uh, area of hot and humid air coming up from the south. But at the moment, it's too far out really to make any um, any forecast for that. We just need to keep an eye on that. It's just hints uh, showing for that. If we have a look at the GFS ensemble, you can see that well reflected. Temperatures around average for the next sort of week or so. And then as we head towards day 10, you do see some ensemble members going quite warm with that hot air in the southeast. But many others, the majority probably at the moment, are around average or just below average with that more Atlantic airflow. And then the longer term again. Quite a lot of scatter, um, but no, uh, no, no major signals coming out at this, this stage. It does look pretty unsettled in the longer term. You've seen the short term, they've got a lot of showery bands of rain um, coming in for the south and sort of central England as well. Uh, and parts of East Anglia, southwest Wales as well. So quite widespread um, uh, heavy rain. And then beyond that, things do look like they're turning a little bit dry briefly before there's going to be more showers around. Again, the ensembles don't quite pick out exactly when these showers are going to be happening until only a few days out. Um, so at this stage, just really an unsettled outlook is what we're looking at. If we do have a look at 2 meter temperatures, you can see generally around low 20s. This time of year, 21, 22 degrees is the average high um, for many areas. So around average temperatures really uh, maybe some getting above or we do see sunshine maybe, maybe some staying quite cool and cold um feeling pretty um pretty grim under the under the cloud and rain um if uh, on those certain days where those showery outbreaks are quite widespread so really we'll have to keep an update on the short term but you can see over the next few days in london it's going to feel pretty chilly um temperatures aren't going to be very hot but the air generally is warm so it's not going to be sort of coat weather but it may mean you might need a jumper or so when the rain does pick up wind picks up uh, and there's a lot of cloud around not t-shirts and shorts weather which we'd hope uh, to be expecting this time of year so now if we run through the uh precipitation charts we'll look at the icon model first so you can see at the moment we've got this band of quite heavy rain heading up from the south with the potential for a few thunderstorms within it especially further southwards and westwards and then tomorrow briefly clear through the morning before thunderstorms break out in many central southern areas it won't be exactly like that with a line of thunderstorms but i suspect there's going to be a convergent zone and we could see um quite heavy thunderstorms in certain areas so we'll have to keep an eye on that through tomorrow on the radar make sure you follow me on twitter as well for that for updates on that sorry 
beyond that, more showers spiral round, and again, looking like uh, a lot of rain into the, more into the southeast as the uh, low pressure starts to pull away, um, heading in, and um, before things turn briefly drier, before it looks like weather fronts are going to be coming in off the Atlantic. If we now have a look at the R pairs run, you can reach through Sunday. We do see, uh, well, for Sunday evening, we do see some quite heavy rain spreading. Not too heavy on the Arpege, but again, maybe underdoing it slightly. More showers through Monday as well. Before, as we head uh, through Tuesday morning, more showers in the south. Heading in off an easterly wind. Before all, everything starts to pull away towards midweek. High pressure takes more control before sort of Friday into Saturday. Low pressure does come back again. If we now have a look at the UK Met Office run. Now this most accurate model probably being used for the UK Met Office forecasts, and their weather warnings uh, and their app as well. So it's a decent model to look at and you can see this evening quite heavy thunderstorms and showers breaking out. Spreading sort of northwards and westwards. It does look more widespread um, than this is showing at this stage. I'll show you the live radar in a minute. Beyond that overnight, those showers eventually sort of dissipate to the south and the west before more showers form tomorrow afternoon, and then more thunderstorms potentially heading up. Many southwestern areas could be seeing those thunderstorms. So not as widespread on the UK Met Office run, interestingly there, um, but still showing some quite um, heavy thunderstorms potentially there as well. Beyond that, for Tuesday again, some showers and thunderstorms perhaps in the southeast, for eventually that low does pull away, and then we start to see some more showers coming in from the southwest. Um, as low pressure t- starts to take control once again. If we do now have a look at the live radar, you can see this deluge of rain we currently have across many southern areas. You can see the heavy pulses. One's just headed through central London. We've got others out uh, sort of in central southern England, around heading into sort of Bath, Bristol, just south of Oxford. And it's heading in a sort of north east, uh, northwesterly direction. Um, so, heading in off that easterly wind, um, quite heavy rain, widely we see maybe a half, half an inch to an inch of rain, we do see these heavier pulses, we could be, see quite heavy rain as well, rain easing slightly in the southwest as we have seen the heaviest rain there earlier today, but I suspect more showers will be heading in there, but you can see a lot of rain still coming in. Models are showing it sort of dissipating overnight tonight, but it still got another couple hours of pr- probably quite heavy rain coming in. Um, and again, we could be seeing a few thunderstorms and lightning strikes within this. So just keep an eye out for that. As it gets dark, we do see start to see thunderstorm strikes. You'll actually be able to see it from quite a distance um, if we do see um, quite uh, widespread sheet lightning. But we'll have to keep an eye out for that. If we have a look at the latest weather warnings from Met Office, you can see these yellow warning force right now. Same yellow warning uh, that was enforced uh, we saw yesterday, just extended a bit further eastwards for the heavier rain and thunderstorms pushing up. So we're just showing the general area where we're going to see the heaviest rain over the next few hours. It does expire tomorrow at 7am, so still some heavy rain to potentially come. Maybe some surface water flooding, so just keep an eye out um, for that heavy rain if you are li- living in any any flooded um, potentially a uh, flood risk area or for looking for surface water as well. If we have a look at Monday, you can see there's also a thunderstorm warning in force. Very similar area, and you can see the rain warnings on top of that. You can see it's pretty much the same area as the risk tomorrow is more towards isolated, scattered thunderstorms, um, less to persistent rain. So just keep an eye on how that develops tomorrow, and I'll be posting on Twitter as well. So make sure you do follow me on, the, uh, on there as well. Link is in the description. So tomorrow the rain mornings in force as well, but it's most likely the impact is going to be from um, those thunderstorms that are like looking like they're going to be forming. If we do have a look at further details for that, many places missing the worst, but scattered thun- uh, torrential downpours may bring some impact. So I'm guessing the Met Office are more looking at widespread quite heavy showers but the thunderstorm threat is quite isolated but we do see it on top of the rain uh, today we could see some quite significant impacts again high impact but quite unlikely so we just have to keep an eye on that how that develops tomorrow so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon